take uh, some time today and acknowledge all of the hard work that you guys have done. Uh, provided, uh, you guys have provided over 22 years of, of combined service, and uh, you've made this district better um, with it. We've all seen your passion, your intelligence, your knowledge of, the, of Downers Grove and the district and your dedication, but I think what we don't always see, but it's a tremendous amount of heart that you guys put in uh, to the work that's done. We talk about a lot of boring and mundane things here, building maintenance, <laughs> technology purchase, and stuff like that. And yes, all of you have been good stewards of our district's finances, but I know that even those mundane questions you're always asking, is this what's best for students? And I know that the kids are always uh, what you guys are taking in your heart. So I, I just wanted to make sure that, that I said that as well. I want to acknowledge your families that are here, and Elizabeth's family as well, because all of us on this at this table here are, are married with children. And I'll tell you, if you don't have a supportive, supportive spouse, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we do because there are a lot of late meetings or phone calls or side conversations that we have at our kids' sporting events, things like that. So we really, really appreciate all of the, uh, the work that you guys do in, in the background as well. Just a couple side notes. Um, John, you've been my neighbor on the dais, my partner on FAC, and you've also been my resident historian. Um, I regularly call John to kind of get background context of what we're working on, and somehow we end up talking about what I can have looked like in 1983. <laughs> and how many you know that when you were a child and you lived nowhere near Downers Grove? I'm not sure, but I appreciate all the hard work that you've done in sort of, um, in, in sort of learning all the history of what's going on around here. I think the whole world knows how passionate you are about the work that we do, but I don't know that everyone knows how approachable you are. Every time I see someone pull you to the side, you're always so willing, and you were willing with us, to really walk us through everything and, and, and make sure that we have the knowledge that we need. And I've, and I've seen you do that with countless, countless number of parents and community members. So we're not doing superlatives tonight, but if I was, I would put for you most likely to come back regularly to board meetings. So <laughs> I expect to see you on the other, other side here in, in the future. No, I just want to say that your leadership has been unparalleled and you were exactly what this board needed when we changed, when we changed over two years ago. Um, you really guided this board well, and I, I greatly appreciate that and, and the work that you did to coach the new board members. Um, I've watched the work that you've done to reach out to the community, the staff, the admin, the parents, and I can tell you from the people that I've talked to, it's so greatly appreciated. I don't know if everyone knows that he's also a representative on SASID, which is a whole other board that takes a lot of his time, where he's also the VP, and which has really allowed you to meet so many people around the community, and I gotta tell you, that your reputation is strong. When I was at the IIII conference back in November, um, somebody goes, oh, you're on 58? Doug Purcell is your, your president. He's fantastic, your board is amazing. And what a great accolade to hear when you're sitting um, in, you know, in a meeting down in, in Chicago, and God only knows where, where they actually were from, but they were very well aware of your work, and I greatly appreciate that. And I know you have such a hard dedication to service, I just really, really look forward to what's coming next for you. Um, Elizabeth couldn't be here, her family couldn't be here today, but I did want to say uh, a couple words about her and the fact that she really has been the backbone for this board um, over the last, at least the last few years that I've served with her. Somehow, she's managed to squeeze 10 years worth of service into four years. I've never seen anyone work so hard. Uh, she's probably one of the smartest people I've ever worked with, but she's also the nicest. Um, and just so everybody knows, she serves this community well beyond the work that she does on this board. And I expect that we'll be seeing a lot more of her around Downers Grove um, in the future. So just thank you all for the service that you've done for us. And thank you for making this a wonderful board to work with. So thank you. Um, I went up to Doug's kids um, beforehand and said a few words to them. And his daughter was so unimpressed with what I said. And I was trying to tell her like, how proud. I was trying to tell his kids how, how, um, how proud they should be of, of Doug. Doug's a great guy. Same to John. Um, so I'm saying it again, so that so it really sinks in. Um, <laughs> like just, I have so much respect for the work that you guys have done, um, how much you serve the community, how much you've done for kids, and you know just getting to know you has been just awesome. It's just a great experience, and um, I'm sobered right now by what Darren just said. This the the 22 years of experience that we're losing, so we're going to go from 22 to seven. So that um, that scares me a little bit, but uh, we'll, we'll we'll get by because we know that you guys will, will be there. Um, a phone call away. So just thank you for everything you've done for, for Downers Grove and for the community. Um, it's, it's been great. I know you guys, we, our paths never crossed otherwise, but it's been, it's been
been tremendous. So I know that not all of your kids are here, but so I'm just going to ask the kids are here, are here to say the other ones that your dads are awesome. And, then, and if Elizabeth's kids were here, um, I would say the same. You guys all should be very proud of your parents. So. All right, so I just have a little background for those who haven't been with us for 22 years. Um, board members Purcell, Miller, and Siegel have served the Board of Education here with passion and commitment for 22 years combined. Gosh, I think it's going to get emotional, but go figure. <laughs> uh, their focus has always been on keeping kids first, and they've worked tirelessly to ensure District 58 meets our mission of challenging and engaging each child by providing high quality educational programs and preparing our children to make significant contributions to their world. So during their tenure, they have been involved in nearly every issue a Board of Education might face. When Doug and John took office, our school buildings were in dire need of repair. Roofs needed replacement, district-wide available funds were insufficient. Together, they helped to lead the charge to overcome several major roadblocks, I won't start naming them right now, <laughs> to address our significant facility needs while expanding programs for students and improving learning environments for all students. Each has brought a wealth of financial acumen to the board, along with a willingness to make difficult decisions that focus on students and on the long-term success of our district. When Elizabeth joined them about five years later, the district was in the midst of significant improvements in technology, in curriculum, and in, in instructional practices. If you consider this during their collective service to the board, our district experienced the integration of the Common Core Standards, new student assessments such as the PARC and MAP, and now the IAR, um, unprecedented financial strains and threats on funding, as well as major school additions and safety security improvements, while also supporting the development and implementation of new educational programs. Our one-to-one -one program, our biliteracy program, full-day kindergarten enrichment, several new special education pro programs, and again, significant improvements in safety and security. Members Purcell and Miller and Siegel have supported advancements in student learning and in staff professional development. They've provided leadership for several contract negotiations, have significantly expanded our community engagement efforts, and have led strategic planning and hired two superintendents at this point. All while working hard to chart a path for the future that will ensure continued success for our district for many years to come. So, John, as the old saying goes, from soup to nuts, <laughs> these three have done it all. And throughout have consistently stayed That's focused. A good insight. <laughs> <laughs> have consistently stayed focused on making District 58 a better place for our children. So it has not always been easy, but we have all benefited from your vision, your dedication, and your service to our school. So thank you on behalf of our schools, on behalf of our students, on behalf of our staff, on behalf of our community. We want to thank the three of you for your service to our district. We want to thank your families for their unending sacrifice in sharing it with us and we truly appreciate all that you've done for our district and our students so thank you